as a projector, I am excited to answer this question. And I totally get why you asked it because I was very confused for a long time. Um, so a few examples of what waiting for the invitation looks like. Okay, if you're in a social setting, right? And a bunch of people are talking about something that you feel like you know a lot about. It's a different energy if you interject than it is if you wait for someone to look at you and say, oh, hey, I know you know a lot about that. What are your thoughts here? It's a totally different energy, not only for you, but for the other, because the aura of the penetrator is the penetrator. The projector is very penetrating. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. The projector aura is penetrating. Am I blushing now? Oh my God, I'm a penetrator. Um, and so when we offer unsolicited advice, when we interject, when we come into um, a conversation without being explicitly asked or invited, it can be a little abrupt. It can be a little blunt. It can be a little off-putting for the recipient. There's not anything you did. It's not anything wrong with you. And it's not anything wrong with your aura. It's actually that you're like super cool and super great one-on-one -on -one, and your aura like goes right to the G center. It goes right to the G center in the body graph, that diamond shaped shape in the middle and really helps people like understand what they love and why they love it and where they're going and like the meaning of life. Okay. So it's like big stuff. And when you're not around people, like when they don't feel your aura, they notice that you're gone. You may feel invisible, but it, I, I know, I know it to be true. They notice when you're, when your aura is not present. And so really valuing, honoring, acknowledging, and seeing yourself first and saying, you know, I don't have a defined sacral. So this energy that I have is super valuable to me and to others. So I'm going to pull back and I'm going to wait for invitations because I know, I already know my value. I already know my expertise. I already know my wisdom. I already know my ability to guide and I don't need to offer that for free. And just the most fascinating thing happens. People feel when you pull that energy back and they can also feel when you're reaching, but they feel when you pull that energy back and it's like they have this light bulb moment and they're like, oh, by the way, you're here. And then they ask. So another example, like somebody may send me a message like, hey, you know a lot about human design, right? And I'll say, yes, I do. I don't offer anything. I don't solicit anything. I answer the question and then I wait for the invitation. In relationships, okay, I'm single. So like I'm waiting to be seen, acknowledged, and valued. Like somebody has to know what's here and specifically invite it before I'm willing to share energy with them. 